All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Um, it's a good sunny day today, nice and warm. We're, uh, we're working in the shade, and uh, today we're going to bring you along and work on uh, building a small old pig, pig pen. Um, we have some fence panels that we're going to put up. We're going to do it roughly 32 by 32, so there's plenty of room for the shelter. Like I mentioned before, I was going to take that bed liner and make a shelter out of. Um, so we're going to make this roughly 32 by 32. I believe anything can happen. Uh, in my mind, things change in a split second. Um, so anyways, we're going to set some T-posts with the tractor. We're going to set some cattle panels. We've got a small gate, and um, we might uh, get a chance to record the... Uh, putting a strand of electric inside not sure exactly or not but we're running a little short on time today we got several different things we need to do so I hope you can hear me okay as well because we got a mower in the background but we're gonna just sit back work let you watch and uh, I like watching people work so hopefully you do too and uh, you'll you'll recognize this little bit of area here we cleared out in one of the other videos where we said we was clearing uh, brush for animals check that video out I'll try to remember to put a link in the description for it but um, other than that, sit back, get you something to eat and drink, and watch the show. If you hadn't hit the subscribe button, we'd appreciate it if you'd go ahead and do that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and I meant to tell you, I found me some $2 an hour help. But anyways, enjoy the show.
y'all uh that's all we got time for right now um what we did like i said my mind changes all the time uh we decided to only do 16 feet wide and we did 32 feet long so we did two panels long and one panel wide uh that that's plenty of room um still got a few stumps and over here i know i know pigs and stuff will help root them up but um pig pen's temporary you know just till we see what we need t post pull them out um currently we just have these panels zip tied to the t post um that is not going to stay that way obviously pigs ain't gonna that ain't gonna hold them in but uh we just did that so everything's upright and then i'll come back with uh some wire and clips and different things like that to um fasten everything tight but i mean everything it's not it's not bad everything's good and snug t poster in the ground pretty good um hope you like my post driver uh it's a it's a kubota l3800 um you cannot pick those up at your local tractor supplier royal king uh, but you can get a post driver similar to this at a royal king it's just red uh but anyways uh we did bring in the uh the little uh bed liner thing um with the tractor forks <coughs> excuse me with the tractor forks that way poogie can go ahead and get under it while she's short it's already in here don't have to lift it and i'll work on putting the legs on it and the tent around it so that way she's got a uh a higher place as she grows and we're going to get her uh water trough and food trough and all that stuff in here that way she can move and as you'll notice we put in this little gate here on the t-post with t-post brackets um it's not the prettiest thing in the world i don't know why it's crooked <clears throat> i don't know if you heard courtney but she said shut up um but anyways it's all good it, it's it does exactly what we're going to need it to do uh we're going to wire everything up that way and, and um maybe put a strap around it screw it to the wood board um but the gate works out good we're going to maybe run some uh electric netting like we have for the goats down around this brushy stuff here so that way um pogey and stuff can get in there and and root up a little bit you know and get some greenery um anyways we took yeah you know, it's fairly snug here and uh we took these slip on t-post brackets i don't know if you can see that or not Sorry. we took these slip on t-post brackets here there's two of them there and they use leverage to hold herself i run some screws in from the back side on a tree to two by six got these gate hangers screwed in there hung a gate on it so that way that works out pretty well and what we're doing here the gate swings open hey courtney will you uh will you hold this here stand back so i can show them how this works all right so what we're going to do here the gate will shut latch around the uh pig pen when you have a pig inside and then when you need to have them out on netting out here all we do open this gate up against this t-post they can't push it out and we start our electric going around and everything's good and that gives us a good uh gives courtney a good entrance right here in the mornings when she comes comes through so uh yeah i'll tell you the stuff the stuff you do for a for a wife you know she she wants a pig you get her a pig she wants a dog get her no. dog your daughter wanted the pig well you know she she wants a chicken to get her a chicken. She wants 30 or 40 goats to get her 100 goats. No, so, I didn't say 30. So anyways. <laughs> but anyways, that's uh, that's where we're at. That's where we're at now. Um, not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll work. I'm going to spin you around here and let you see it, um, you know, as a larger version. All right, standing back here. You're running 16 feet down that way. You're running 32 feet this way. And obviously it's just a big old rectangle. But everything looks pretty decent. Pretty happy with it. And uh, saved, a, saved a few cattle panels here. And we're going to be staking some mater plants in the garden with them. 
got a we got a few over there but we need to need another one but anyways these are just cattle panels like i said we we probably will run uh probably will run some electric around the bottom you know on the inside just one strand or something um we'll see but that'll 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 suit her for now um she's pretty pretty good pig but and here she comes the queen herself and courtney <laughs> nah courtney's my little queen All right, here comes freedom. <laughs> All right, she's a free girl. That gives her a little more room to roam. We've got her some lunch over here on the side by side and we'll go down and scoop her up some food. I mean some water and uh, look at that already ready to root what do you think girl huh what do you think we'll have to get that we'll get your harness off of there too your belly getting a little too big for your pants there or for your shirt I guess I guess that's what we call that harness yep so there you have it All right, everybody. We appreciate you sticking around, watch us work a little bit. Uh, some of the stuff we did might be a little out of the ordinary, but that's just how we're doing things around here. Um, we'll never do anything around the yeah, yeah, yeah. We always do stuff out of the ordinary. Um, but anyways, had good help today. Um, you know, I, I believe it cost me about four dollars. So that won't be bad. Uh, we did eat Subway earlier, so I guess that covers it. Um, but anyways. Poogie's happy. We're going to go get her some water. Um, I believe we're going to test her first night outside the night by herself. Um, so, weather's good. And uh, she's, she's got a, a way to stay in, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyways, that's all we have for you today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And hit the subscribe button, so that way you'll know, uh, you know, you can join us on the journey. Notification bell lets you know when more videos are coming out and drop some comments Let us know what you think about the work that we did today and uh, Let me know what you think about my helper and my pig Courtney's pig uh -uh, Carly's pig. Carly's pig. Somebody's pig. Carly's pig. But anyways, those are my goats <laughs> That's all we have for you today. We hope you liked the video till next time. We'll see you then